this video, we are going to take a look at how to get started with backplot and solid simulation in Simco Edit 2022. Firstly, we want to go ahead and open our program, and then we want to choose our configuration. In this case, we're going to choose the Haas UMC750. We can then go ahead and locate the backplot tab, and then simply open backplot. To the left, we have our NC program. In the center, we have our toolpath. And to the right, you can see we have our geometry manager. Our machine origin allows us to simply specify a position on the machine relative to machine zero. And in this instance, we're using the center surface of the table. We then have our work offsets. And again, with our work offsets, we can use the properties section to adjust. In this case, we have our X0, Y0, Z0, but I know this is incorrect, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust this as needed. So once we have our work offset set, we can then go ahead and begin to add our fixtures. So we can right click in the geometry manager and choose add fixture and simply choose the corresponding STR file. We can then go ahead and begin to define our stock. So again, we can right click in the geometry manager, choose add stock, and then we can define as a box using dimensions. Under solid setup, we can choose whether we're going to use a low quality, medium or high, and then we can select OK. Now that a default stock has been added, we can select the stock in the geometry manager and beneath you can see that it opens a property section. Within the property section, you can translate and also adjust the height, width and length and the origin of the stock. To position the stock correctly, we can copy the position of the work offset and then simply paste it to the stock by right clicking and choosing paste position. We can then go ahead and select the regenerate solid option. We can now go ahead and adjust the stock's position, height, width and length as shown here. Now once we have made those adjustments and we're happy, we can go ahead and regenerate the stock. Now our stock is fully defined, the last thing to do is to adjust our fixture. Again, we can right click on our work offset, select copy position, and then paste the position to our fixture. Now that our fixture, stock and work offset is set correctly, the last thing to do is define our tools. In this example, we are not using scanning commands. So therefore we are required to define our tools manually using the tool manager. Simply select the tool setup from the backplot tab to access the tool manager. As you can see, our tools have been identified from our program by their number and subsequently default tools have been applied. We can double click the tool we wish to edit and then choose the select component option. We can now swap individual components of our tool, whether it is the holder or cutter with another predefined component from our tool library. Alternatively, we can choose the edit component option to define individual tool parameters. Once you're happy, you can select save. Now that we have defined our tools, we can continue this process for all other tools. Once all of our tools have been defined, we can close our tool manager and press play to run the simulation. For further information, please contact your local reseller today or visit our website simco.com.